Dienstag ist Dilemma Tag. Hello and welcome to another episode of Tuesday's Dilemma Day. Do you like to blow up ships in this game? Then today's three card dilemma combo might just be the thing for you. It isn't just theory crafting this time, but it was actually used in a high level event. It helped Rising Star Florian's staging ground deck to a second place finish at Austrian Nationals, going 3 and 1, including a win against the current world champion, and Florian told me he destroyed no less than four ships in his first three games with just this combo. So, what did he do? Let's have a look. Let me run my Ferengi deck into this combo. Let's assume we attempt on turn 2, when a typical ragtag not aligned Ferengi bronze shuttle dropped crew might look something like this. We have Babs, Zora, Raylin, Nog, Bok and Muck. So all the eras, all the property logos. And we attempt from the seeded decorum marauder and run into the first piece. It's gone to shockwave. Two diplomacy, empathy, no can do. That means we will suffer two flips from the battle bridge door. Two random kills. Let's see, it's Nog and Zora. Bye bye. Ship is damaged, the stats are reduced, and the ship is relocated over here. So for next turn we need these skills. Now thankfully my deck typically draws 6 cards or 7 per turn, so we have pretty good odds of finding the skills we need. And let's say on our next turn we drop another bronze shuttle with um, a dual personal with double diplomacy. Let's say we also have Chuckles and Daniels. And maybe we played Vakor as our universal free play with attentional hands. So we have enough to beat the dilemma, but now we are in a bit of a pickle because do we fly in with the undamaged ship, the bronze shuttle, or with the damaged decorum marauder? Since the shuttle is the centerpiece of the deck, we are not going to risk it, but rather we will try and beat Gom to Shockwave with as few people as possible. So let's send in the Troys with the Diplomacy part, 13 Integrity. Let's add Chakoti, that's 21. Daniels, that's 27. Need six more. Let's also send in Babs. And then let's leave the rest at home. Decorum Marauder flies in again. We beat the Gong to Shockwave. And we find the next dilemma. It's the Planet Killer. This doesn't do anything right now. It will attack at the end of the turn, but it doesn't do anything now. So we face the last dilemma, and that is the Cloud. Two medical, and that's already game over here. We don't have that. We have an engineer, we have astrophysics, but we don't have what it uh, takes to beat this dilemma here. So we suffer another damage flip. Let's say we have Babs as our first casualty and then Loxana taking Deanna with her for the next one. And of course all the other personnel are discarded as well because we have suffered 100% hull damage and then the Decorum Marauder is blown up. But the good thing is the dilemma is gone. The planet killer is still looming on the space line. We have to maneuver around a little bit, but the mission is clear to be solved. And this is what typically happened in the games, so Florian told me. He managed to hit everybody with his dilemmas, destroy ships, but everybody actually managed to do the mission uh, in the end. But it's a very nice setup because in order to get through the Gom to Shockwave, we need those social skills, diplomacy and empathy. And typically there isn't too much overlap with the rather scientifically uh, centered skills on the cloud, medical engineer, astrophysics. So there is a good chance that if you can get through one with a small or medium sized crew, you won't be able to get through the other. And even if we had attempted here with the undamaged bronze shuttle, the cloud would have damaged it and then with 10 weapons and reduced shields due to the damage from the cloud, uh, most ships will be able to be taken out by the planet killer. So this is a very good setup if you want to blow up ships. Combine it with a with an offensive deck that actively goes hunting, uh, then you can blow up even more ships if you're so inclined. So I like this one very much. It's not one of those super frustrating combos, 
that lock you out of a mission entirely, but rather it makes you pay dearly for the points that you are eventually going to get. You will lose a couple of personal here, maybe you, you will lose a ship, maybe a second ship uh, suffers some damage, uh, limiting your maneuverability on the space line. So this is a really, really nice one. And also, Florent uh, told me nobody managed to get through the Gomte shockwave initially. It's a bit surprising. It's not such a difficult dilemma, isn't it? Uh, but for some reason in the current meta, people attempt rather aggressively. And that often means that they simply don't have those skills out on their second turn. And then such a dilemma can have a much, uh, much bigger impact than if you face it, let's say, after five or six turns when you have a sizable crew that covers all the bases. So I like this one very much. Thank you very much, Florian, for submitting this and also congratulations on your success with it. If you would like to see your deck of, um, featured on this show, please get in touch. I will do my best to arrange it, but not next week because it's spoiler season soon and I hear that there will be a spoiler for the new showdown deck on this channel next Tuesday. So stay tuned. Until next time, expand your power in the universe. Bye bye.